What's up YouTube? This is Red Zone 101. Got another video for you. I got a third option that I want to talk about for carrying your burner HD launcher. Um, in a previous video I talked about something like this for carry. It's a small bag like a messenger bag. Let's say a summertime. You don't have a, a lot of clothes on. You got shorts on, what have you. You know, and you don't want to print. This is a great option. Actually, also for the winter time. Another great option is uh, a holster, which is always a nice option. Well, let's say that you don't really want to carry a bag all day, like this here. Well, let's say that you don't want to have a holster on, because sometimes holsters and they stick out or whatever. Let's say you don't feel comfortable with that. So I want to talk about a third option for carrying your burner. And actually, I'm going to take a couple of shots at those targets there. And I want you to see this new uh, option that I came up with. It's not new, but it's something that I actually realized is a great way to carry your burner. So I'm going to stand up first of all. I want you to see here. This uh, third option doesn't print. I mean, you can almost, can't almost tell that I got uh, anything on me. So let's take a couple of shots at this target here, and I'll be back to talk about that third option. Weight um, under a coat conceals really well. Let's take it off. Take yeah, you get a, you get a look at it here. This I found out is a great third option for carrying your Berna HD launcher. We'll put it back on. Really easy to put on. As I said, it weighs almost nothing doesn't protrude as much as a holster and uh, a great way for even carrying a third mag. Now the problem that I had with other options for carrying a third mag was that these mags here are so sensitive if you touch this little end here the um, rounds come uh, ejecting out. So um, this third option, the Billy holster um, because it's so elastic -y, or whatever you want to call it, uh, stretchy, uh, it doesn't put a lot of pressure on this part right here so the rounds don't stick, um, like they don't shoot out. Um, I'm going to show you real, real quick. Got a mag here that's loaded. Again, these mags, um, I'm going to show you one, uh, this one here. The only thing I don't like about the burner, other than that I love it, touch this end here pops right out so but with this new holster here this belly band holster if you stretch the elastic out just a little bit and don't touch that that end goes in with no problem you got an uh, elastic strap there to secure it and you got a, a way to carry your second mag not that you'll need a second one, but just in case, it's all, it always makes me feel better to have a spare mag, like even when I'm carrying my firearms. Normally one mag is more than enough, but just in case. So this is a great way to carry an extra mag here. Let me put it back in again. Just make sure you don't touch uh, the sides. Sticking to my glove. And then, to put your burner in, what you want to be careful when you put it in this elastic um, kind of a pocket here, is that you don't touch the trigger. Why don't you want to touch the trigger? Because it's going to fire if you have it in fire. And which way is it pointing? 
is pointing at your foot. <laughs> Granted, you won't take your foot off, but man, that's going to smart for some time, okay? That's going to hurt. So, what I do is I stretch, I stretch it just a little bit without touching the trigger. Slide it in, secure it with this uh, strap here, and as I said, it conceals really well. Let me put this, yeah, here, let's do this. One, two, well, I need to button my uh, coat again, three. can barely tell that I have it on, but if you needed to uh, deploy it, it's right there. Okay. One thing I did find out you have to be careful of, this strap here. Because if you get excited in an emergency situation, you might forget that strap is there and pull up. Guess what? It's not coming out. You want to make sure as you're about practice first of all, is what I'm saying. Practice deploying it. You want to grab it, attach that strap, you're ready to rock and roll. Boom, boom, boom. So, the other thing I like about this uh, waist belly band holster is this. You can put that back on there. You can carry it like a regular holster, like that right there, and draw like from here. Or else, let's say you want to cross draw. Just slide it around. Now, it won't conceal as easy because this is poking out the steel. Now you have it to where you can cross draw. Let's say you're in a car. It's really hard to draw from the hip. You know, from the, um, let's say the same side that you draw from. Um, let's say right hand, right draw. That's gonna be really hard. But a cross draw is much easier. Grab it, it's out. So anyway. Like I said, it's a tight fit. Be careful you don't touch the uh, the actual uh, trigger there because you don't want to have an accidental discharge and strike your foot or let's say with someone else's foot. So anyway, this is the belly waistband holster. This is, I found out, to be a great third option for carrying the burner <laughs> HD launcher. So going to try to keep this a short video. I want to thank you guys for all of you that watch my channel. Um, you know, if you do like my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, subscribe. I got more videos coming out. I'm trying to get the videos out now before the weather changes. Because I live in Michigan and normally we have some brutal winters. Right now, these last couple of days have been beautiful. We're talking 70, 70 plus degree days have been awesome. I mean, we've been breaking records here for the temperature, you know, being well above average. Although today is kind of chilly, so I'm not going to stay out here too long. I don't want to catch cold or whatever. But, um, so I'm, I said that to say this. I'm going to try to get these videos in now before the weather really changes. And again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Got a video coming up um, I'm thinking about. want to know what you guys think um, if you want to see it. My top three to five choices for 22 for self-defense. Now, some people are going to say I've never used a 22 for self-defense, but why not? Um, I know the reasons why people think that they shouldn't or whatever. The ammo, whatever, isn't as reliable as center fire. Um, it lacks power, what have you. But um, I beg to differ. Um, use good ammo in a 22 you make sure you got a good quality 22 keep it clean keep it in good working condition they work really great and the thing is we're talking about self-defense the object of self-defense to me is basically to deter or stop the threat and I think a 22 is more than capable of doing that so if you'd like to see that video you know put something in the comments below and um, and I'll do that I've got a couple of really great choices for 22 as far as carry, as far as something for home defense. Um, so just let me know what you think. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. 
I hope you're being safe out there. God bless. Peace.